what you need to do is hit. Okay, we're going to go ahead and start adding windows. So I'm going to go into the actual drawing and see that we need to add windows. The windows that we need to add are coming from this information here on the call out, this number 31. So I'm going to slide down to my schedules where I can see my windows. As I come down here, I find my type mark for call out 31 and find that it's a double hung with trim. The width is 3 foot by 3 foot or 36 by 36. Then I can come back up top here and I can then look at placement. We'll go ahead and we'll place the windows first and then we'll adjust them for your dimensions. So come back here to Revit. I'm going to come up here to the window tool. I'm going to grab my window tool. Come over here start looking for my double hung with trim which I had already loaded. If you have not loaded your double hung with trim you'll have to come over here to load family. Select the load family tool and after you do that you're going to get a large file structure here. Here then you slide down to your windows tab double click on windows and then these are all additional windows that can be loaded into your project from Revit. Here I can find a double hung with trim. I can select it and then hit open. Once that happens, those standard sizes for double hung with trim will show up. And I believe that a 36 by 36 is not part of the standard size. So we'd go ahead and grab another size. And just like everything else, we hit edit type. We can duplicate and we can rename that to be a 36 by 36. Then we can come down and rechange the actual size, the width here to be 36 height, then change this to a 36 or 3 feet, and then we would have the window necessary. So the window that I want is right here because I've built it. It's called a 36 by 36. Now I'm going to come over to my wall, zoom in a little bit, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to place my window in the wall. I'm not worried about location yet. I'm going to place my window in the wall again. And I'll place one down here because I know I need one down here. Once I've done that, I right click, I hit cancel to stop placing windows. Now I'm no longer placing windows. And what I want to do is I want to place dimensions. So I go to my annotation tab. I grab my align dimension tool. And I immediately come right to my green bar, my green ribbon bar, and where it says wall center line, I want to come down and grab face of core because I want all of my dimensions to go from the face of the core in the wall to the center of my windows. With that selected, I'm going to slide in, zoom in using the roller ball on my mouse, and I need to look for the outside of the sheathing for the wall. I do not want to be on the siding. I do not want to be in the center of the wall. I want to be on the outside of the sheathing. Take note, if I'm up here near the corner and I want to get a dimension from here to here, I will not be able to get the outside of the sheathing. I need to slide down the wall and then I need to select it down here. You'll see that it's going to highlight in a dark blue once you mouse over the proper area. So once I'm on the outside of the sheeting and it's highlighted, I will click. I then zoom out with my roller ball. I come across till I find the center of the window and it highlights in blue. I click, and then I pull up, and I'm going to click again. That places the first dimension for the window. I then can come across and grab the center center dimensions, come up, drop those, and then do the same thing again to go from center of window to, again, the outside of the sheeting face, pull up, and drop the dimension right click and cancel to stop placing dimensions. Okay, now that you have your dimensions placed, we're going to utilize the dimensions that we placed to position our windows. The reason why I'm using the dimensions we placed is because all of our dimensions go from sheeting face to center of window. So we'll start with this window over here, and that window is going to be 7 feet 5 inches from the outside corner. So I'm going to come back here to Revit, and in order to move this window, First, I need to hit Escape to get out of my Dimension tool. And then I need to select the window. And as soon as I select the window, my dimensions here, the dimension I placed, turns blue. And then the dimension that is a positional dimension for Revit appears. What we'll do is we're going to use this dimension that we placed. I'm going to select it. It's now a highlighted cell. I can highlight it. And I can type in 5 feet. 7 
inches. Or was it the other way around? It's actually 7 feet 5 inches. So I'm going to come back in and change that. It's going to be 7 feet 5 inches. Once I do that and I click back in my drawing, notice my window moved. Now what I want you to really be aware of is don't just jump here to this dimension assuming this window will move. This window is not going to move because it's not highlighted. This is the window that's functioning. It's active right now. So I'm going to click off of the window. I'm going to come to the next window and select it. And then I can change it by these two dimensions. So I'll go back into my drawing and see that the spacing between is 5 feet 5. Now I'll come back into my Revit, select my 5, 5, and I'm only off a quarter of an inch. I'll just delete that quarter of an inch, click in my drawing, and now my dimensions should be the same. 7, 5, 5, 5, and 7, 8. Come back and take a look. 7, 5, 5, 5, 7, 8. My windows have been placed properly.